Hello and welcome to 21 Wilson Drive, Carmel, Indiana. Uh, we're in a north side suburb of Indianapolis, not far from, I think it's 126th and Guilford. Today we have a four bedroom, two bath home, about 1900 square feet, a two car attached garage, nice front patio, which we can see right here, a nice back patio, um, We'll take a look at that real quickly, then we'll go inside and take a look around. This home does come with uh, laminate flooring throughout. There's no carpet in the home. A uh, variety of nice upgrades. Uh, we do have a nice back patio here, if we can see it. Large sliding glass door. So we have a nice spacious home. Um, obviously Carmel is one of the most desirable places uh, in the Indianapolis area to live. So we come in the side door. There's actually three different entry points into the house. Um, this leads us to our laundry area. This little hutch here with some coat hanging rods. Uh, washer and dryer is included. We do have a water softener. Uh, there is a uh, water uh, filter under the kitchen sink. Uh, the appliances here, the uh, hot water heater and furnace is both gas. Uh, this door will lead us to our two car garage. We do have a power overhead opener as well. Nice clean garage. We do have some shelves on both sides and a little cabinet space as well. A lot of nice touches and finishes throughout the home. So you can see we do have this wood laminate flooring uh, throughout, very nice and clean. Uh, here's our large patio door, then you can see the patio up back, overhead ceiling fan. And we do have a wood burning fireplace here as well. Uh, more shelves, cabinet space in this uh, back family room. Uh, we have a formal dining area complete with overhead light. Uh, this room is about uh, probably 11 by 12. Nice little chair rail, help keep from scuffing the wall from tables and so tables and chairs. Um, leading us into our kitchen. Now you'll see our kitchen also has a uh, countertop bar, great for bar stools or our cabinets underneath. Uh, so nice little breakfast bar, pitted lights above. We do have stainless steel appliances from our microwave to our electric glass top stove, side-by-side uh, -side refrigerator, dishwasher, uh, there is a garbage disposal, updated sinks, um, quite a bit of cabinet space as well. You can see we have cabinets both below and above the sink, under the countertop bar, and above and below the stove, or above and next to the stove, and above and next to the refrigerator. Uh, we'll go to the front of the house, and here we will have our traditional living room, as you can see. And this will also lead us to our master bedroom. And we do have a closet up front here, hanging rod and shelf in our closet. So our master bedroom, this is the uh, largest bedroom in the house. Um, got a nice tall window for plenty of natural light. Uh, the room itself appears to be probably about 12 feet wide and maybe 20 feet long. So really it's about the size of what you would see in most one car garages. Um, we do have double opening closet door. And I like the uh, wood finish in the back of the closet, but we have a shelf up top and two hanging rods. So even though it is a reach-in closet, there is quite a bit of closet space in our master closet. This door will lead us to our uh, master bathroom. As you can see, we have our toilet. We do have a uh, organizing shelf, uh, kind of master uh, medicine cabinet, exhaust fan, a nice wide vanity, with sink, plenty of cabinet space, and some extra drawers. Then we have our stand-up shower. 
And we do have tile flooring in here, uh, ceramic tile. For the back, we have our final three bedrooms and our full master bathroom. So immediately on our right, we come to our first of the secondary rooms. So we do have an overhead ceiling fan. This is uh, probably the smallest room in the house and it's about 11 by nine. So our standard, you know, 100 square foot bedroom for the secondary bedrooms, we have an open closet. Across from here, we come to our main bathroom. We do have a full tub and shower. Medicine cabinet, once again, over the toilet. Small little vanity, dressing mirror, cabinet space. And once again, we have ceramic tile for the flooring in our bathroom. Um, in between these bedrooms, across from the bathroom, we do have a linen closet. Come to our next of our secondary rooms, our third bedroom. And here we have uh, a room that looks like it's about nine by 20. So not quite as wide, it's probably not 20, it's probably maybe nine by 18, nine by 17. Uh, more of about a 150 square foot room. Uh, another open reach in closet. This has two shelves and a hanging rod. Overhead ceiling fan. I believe we have overhead ceiling fans in all the bedrooms. Our third bedroom, this is more of a square style of room. Once again, it's probably about 125 square feet, maybe 11 by 11. Um, we do have a wider reach in closet. We have two sets of hanging rods. Uh, this closet extends about a foot and a half beyond the wall on either side, or beyond the opening on either side. So once again, we are at 21 Wilson Drive in Carmel, Indiana, um, about 15, 20 minutes north of Indianapolis. We have a four bedroom, two bath home uh, with a lot of nice amenities, both the living room and family room, uh, formal dining room, eat-in kitchen with countertop bar, stainless steel appliances. It's about 1,900 square feet. We do have a back patio and a front porch. Nice wood-burning fireplace. If this is the kind of home that you would be looking for, then I would encourage you to contact our leasing department at 317-484-8444, extension 1. They can answer any questions that you might have, as well as schedule time for you to visit and view the property for yourself. You can also get more information on our website at www.rpmindymetro.com, where you can find all of our available listings, as well as more details and video walkthroughs. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we look forward to helping you find your next place to live.